SVG, which stands for Scalable Vector Graphics, is an application of XML that makes it possible for us to represent the graphic information in a compact, portable form. So what are SVGs and why are they so popular and important today? Well, SVGs can be created and edited with any text editor. SVGs can be searched, indexed, scripted, and compressed. SVGs are scalable. SVGs can be printed with high quality at any resolution. And also, SVGs are zoomable, and they can be zoomed without any degradation on every device. And also, SVG files are pure XML, which means each SVG element can be controlled with CSS and JavaScript. So you can change its stroke color, stroke width, the fill color with JavaScript or CSS. To see the power of SVG, we will compare it against raster graphics like PNGs, GIFs, and JPEGs. These file formats are all bitmaps which means these graphic files consist of a pixel grid, where the color of each individual cell is defined, but it also means that the file has a predefined height and width and carries a lot of imaging data. So if you have ever tried to enlarge a digital photograph, you've probably seen that the image is composed of squares called pixels. But if you try to enlarge SVGs, they will stay crisp and clear no matter what amount of scaling you're trying to do. So then, why not just use SVGs all the time? The answer is that you won't do it. That's because when you take a photo with your camera or your cell phone, the image that you take needs a huge variance in each pixel to render properly. And it would take more data to store it as an SVG than to just use pixel data. That's why digital cameras don't take photographs as vector images. So here is the rule. If you want to have an image like a photograph on your website, always use raster graphics like PNGs, GIFs, and JPEGs. But if you want to have an image that is more graphical in nature, like a logo, an interactive map, or an illustration, then use SVG formats.